Hello, this is G420 Goddess here with a general reading for my collective. I want to say God bless to all my beautiful goddesses and gods. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've already cleared the air of all negative energy. I've shuffled the cards. And the overall energy for this reading is the strength card. That's always a good sign. The next card is the Seven of Wands. Spirit is telling me that you are divinely protected, that you've already set your boundaries. The Hermit card is the next card. Some of you may have went into inner reflection. You may have retreated to just meditate. Yeah. Next card is the Seven of Swords. Somebody was being deceitful. There was a betrayal. And that's probably why you went into hermit mode. Whoever is carrying the Seven of Swords energy, the next card is the Two of Swords. This person could have had you off balance. They could have had you indecisive. Hard to make choices. But with the temperament card, spirit brought you back in the balance. You regained your harmony and your self-control. The Page of Cups. This card came out sideways. This is telling me that whoever has this Seven of Swords energy, they want to come. They want to come and they want to deliver you a message. And it could be a message of love. But they have in doubts with this Page of Cups card coming out sideways. The death card. It's probably why they're, you know, hesitant about coming towards you. Because you put an end to something. In order to start a new beginning. Yes. You use your intuition. And you walked away from this betrayal. The deceit, the lies, with the high printed. You use your intuition. The King of Cups. The King of Cups. <laughs> this could be your energy where you embodied the King of Cups and you got your strength and balance back. Or it could be this other person's energy. This King of Cups could have been the one who was carrying this Seven of Swords energy. Six of Cups. This could have been somebody from your past. Somebody you have memories with. Somebody that you shared happiness with at one time or another. Somebody who wants to come in and offer you. It's going to be a slow offer though. 
but you're looking at your pinnacles. Yes. You are the queen of pinnacles. You're looking at your career. You're looking at investing in yourself. You're looking at your financial responsibility, which is always beautiful. Take that energy and invest in yourself. Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to come in, but they want to come in slow and offer you romance. It could be a younger gentleman or a younger female or vice versa. It could be an age difference. But I'm getting the energy that a lot of you guys are really investing in yourself. You're not really looking for love. That's pretty much clarified by the Four of Cups. You guys are just focused on yourself and not love. And this could be the this King of Cups. Who is feeling like he missed out on an opportunity. Probably by being sneaky with the Seven of Swords. Yeah. This Two of Cups could have had you. In that two of swords energy. But yeah. Next card is the world card. Somebody put a cycle to an end. I feel like you took your energy. Queen of Pentacles. You took that energy. And you started investing in yourself. Yeah, you put all what didn't serve you. You put that to an end. And yeah, it was a, a lover. Some kind of partnership that no longer served you. Four of Wands, it could have been somebody who was married. Or this four of wands could be your energy. You're, you know, you, you want to celebrate. You're looking for a solid foundation. Three of cups. Yeah, you want to celebrate. You want to reap the rewards. You want to invest in yourself. You're tired of all this betraying and backstabbing. Ace of Wands. You know that Ace of Wands. This, this, this is, this is good luck. This, this Ace of Wands is, is <laughs> good luck. It's good luck. Good information is coming in. But the chariot, something is coming towards you. Something good is coming towards you. With this Eight of Swords energy, I feel like this King of Cups is in, in, in a mental prison. I think this King of Cups is paralyzed, stuck, because you took your energy and walked away. Yeah, next card is the Five of Cups. Somebody is feeling pain, loss, and grief. Somebody else has turned their back on things that no longer serve them. With the Two of Cups, this person is really, really, <laughs> really, really attracted to you. This two of cups, he is really, really attracted with your, to you, excuse me, with the lover's card down here too. Oh my goodness. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is reaping what they sow. I feel like if you planted good seeds, you're seeing the abundance 
of what you planted. But I feel like if you planted bad seeds, you seeing, whew, you getting that karma. Somebody with the page of swords, somebody is watching from afar. This king of cups, I think he, he wants to come in. He wants to, you know, say something, but he can't because he know he was deceiving. Yeah, this person is watching you. Queen of Swords. Now there are two queens, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. There's only one king on <laughs> down here. Now, he could have been juggling a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Pentacles. But I get the feeling that Spirit is telling me that you embodied the Queen of Swords. That's, that is what gave you the strength to walk away. Yeah. You put your head before your heart and your emotions to the side. And that helped you. That hope that helped you see the lies, the hidden motives with this moon card. You started thinking with your head and not with your heart. And with the six of wands, <laughs> you definitely came out the victor. Yes. Yes, you did. You walked away. You jumped on your high horse. Yeah. Two of Wands. You are focused. You are focused on your future through your strength. And that's what we started out. The overall energy, your strength. So with the Two of Wands, you know, you started planning for your future and you used your strength. To see the vision with the full card. You took a leap of faith and you invested in your creativity with the seven of cups. Yes, you did. You used your imagination. You know, you invested in you. Star card. Because you all the time you knew you were the star. Yeah, with the star card, there is faith, hope. Bright prospect. Absolutely. The Knight of Wands. Your energy is passionate and lustful. And you are putting that energy into yourself. And this is all clarified. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. This is all clarified with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. clarity. Excuse me. Yes. The Ace of Swords is the Yes card. Yes, it is. I would like to say thank you and God bless you. And again, this is G420 Goddess. Take care until next time.